Remember all those people who told you every lie would be revealed? It's happening! Good day, folks. Welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. This is the greatest court case going on in the nation right now, bar none. So stick with me through this one, and you will regain your faith in at least one judge in America. This is winning. Missouri versus Biden, which the majority of America hasn't even heard of, is revealing more truth, more obfuscation and lies from the government than any other case out there. So the other day, the plaintiffs in the case, that's the Attorney General of Missouri and Louisiana. So as a result of this deposition, then the plaintiffs asked for more information that day, followed up with an email, and CISA and Easterly denied that they were entitled to this information. As a result of the failure of the federal defendants to supplement the discovery, plaintiffs had the pending motion to compel, moving the court to order federal defendants to supplement their discovery responses with respect to these five. Now, I'm reading this right from the court documents that Tracy Bean shared on Twitter. And this is where it gets good. The judge... <laughs> This judge is so great. If you could, if you follow this case at all or follow any of my, my videos on this, this judge is awesome. And he basically says, he cites federal rule of uh, civil procedure in his response and everything. And then he says, once federal defendants became aware at the deposition of Scully and his previous answers were incomplete or incorrect, federal defendants had a duty to supplement their previous answers. And then the judge has to dispute the defendant's argument that the plaintiff's request wasn't timely. The judge states that the discovery deadline hadn't expired when they requested. And also, if this was the case, no one would be able to get more discovery should responses be inadequate. So, I mean, they're just, this is so great. I mean, the government is basically saying, hey, look, it's not timely. This is like their latches argument or anything else they're using in all these cases right now. Well, you know, it wasn't in time. Well, as discovery happens, then more things are discovered and we need more discovery. This case is awesome. And now we're going to step it up a notch. It gets even better because the judge responds on relevance, says the federal defendants argue that the information requested is not relevant to the preliminary injunction because the switch boarding was done prior to the 2020 election and the practice has been disbanded. He says that issue remains to be seen. Plaintiffs should not have to rely on federal defendants' representations. Plaintiffs have the right to obtain the information to make that determination for themselves. Federal defendants' argument that the information is not relevant relies on their representation that the switchboarding has been disbanded. And therefore, there is no imminent injury. However, for injury, in fact, the information must be actual or imminent, not just imminent. This is so great. And then the judge concludes, Sice has 14 days to provide the information. Brief in support of the injunction to stop government communication and censorship has to be filed within 30 days following January 27th. Within 30 days of that, the defendants must reply, this judge is going to issue an injunction that the federal government needs to stop communicating with these social media giants to censor people. It's happening, folks. This is the greatest case in the nation right now. So make sure you're subscribed and turn on those notifications because I'm going to be following this, Carrie Lake, and a whole host of other great news. And remember to support the sponsor, MyPillow, MyPillow.com, promo code Lumberjack, will save you up to 66%. Thanks so much for listening. Peace out.